guys, it's your Taco Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung limang favorite features ko that the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 has. Kung maaalala nyo, we recently reviewed the Huawei MateBook D 15-inch. It's a perfect everyday laptop, especially for students and content creators that are on a budget. And with that, guys, actually, na-realize ko na Huawei is not just good at producing smartphones and wearables, but to laptops as well. Kung maaalala nyo, guys, two weeks ago, I gave you my honest unboxing and first impressions of the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. And as I said earlier, ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung mga limang paborito kong features na meron itong laptop na to. By the way, let me know guys in the comment section if you like this kind of videos na kung saan hindi ako nagpapakita. This is just an experiment. Your opinions really matter to me, so let me know guys. So, unahin natin yung pinaka-favorite ko and that is the design. It is a beautiful, thin, and light laptop and yung kanyang weight po is one 1.32 kilograms. And then for the thickness, it's only 14.6 millimeter. Sobrang dali niyang dalhin araw-araw para sa akin. Actually, hindi naman ako lumalabas, pero yung travel ko ng pag-akyat baba galing sa studio papunta ng sala, doon pa lang masasabi ko na agad na kung dadalhin to ng isang tao na nagta-travel everyday from office to work or from school to their home, sobrang dali at sobrang bilis lang din ilabas pasok sa bag. Although it only comes in the space gray variant here in the Philippines, para sa akin it is still a sleek and minimalist looking. The bezels are ridiculously thin guys, I swear. Sobrang nipas niya to the point na kapag lumilipat ako sa ibang laptop, sobrang namimiss ko siya to the point na I'd rather watch Netflix and YouTube videos here kaysa sa luma kong laptop. Malaki rin yung ating touchpad. Meron din tayong fingerprint reader built into the power button. And surprisingly guys, we have great speakers dito sa Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 as I said doon sa ating unboxing video. It is probably one of the best sounding laptops I've ever used because of its Dolby Atmos. Kaya nga, mas masarap manood dito sa laptop na to guys. Hindi lang dahil sa kanyang bezel-less display, but dahil na rin nga doon sa kanyang Dolby Atmos. Whether the soundscape sits the mood of the scene, we captures the full extent. One thing I also appreciate sa Huawei guys, sinamahan nila ng isang USB Type A port. I know naman na USB Type C is the future already, pero it's still nice guys to have it because I know it will come handy sometimes. Especially guys sa trabaho at sa school, madalas tayong magpalitan ng mga files gamit ang USB. And meron din po siyang dalawang USB C ports on the left. Both supporting data transfer with one of them being your charging port. Sobrang useful ng charger na kasama sa laptop na to dahil nagagamit ko siya kapag gusto kong i-charge yung Huawei P40 Pro ko at yung Huawei MatePad Pro. Okay, so since tapos na natin pag-usapan yung kanyang design, second favorite ko po is the screen. Again, it has 13.9 inches display with 13 by 2 aspect ratio, which is something na gusto ko talaga for a laptop kaysa sa 16 by 9. At isa pa, meron siyang 100% of sRGB color gamut. It has a 91 screen to body ratio. Everything guys, very crispy and clear with a touch screen display. It works pretty well and it is very responsive. And then for the hinge quality naman po sa mga nagtatanong, kamusta siya every time na ito touch mo yung screen? But of course, hindi naman maiiwasan na gagalaw talaga yung ating screen every time na hawakan natin yung display. But again, it's not to the point na sobrang annoying. What I also like, guys, is it has features that take advantage of the touch screen. Katulad na lang ng three finger swipe down para makapag-screenshot tayo. Or, if may particular section kayo na gustong screenshot, you can just draw at the diagonal line. Though, kailangan kong maging honest, of course. Kahit na hindi ako masyadong gumagamit ng touch screen, actually, hindi ko siya ganun na ginagamit as I thought that I will be using nung una ko siyang in-unbox. It's still nice that we have this option because there are times, guys, na nakakangalay talagang gamitin yung keyboard. Lalo na ako, magdamagan akong gumamit ng laptop. So overall guys, for the display, it's very futuristic. And we get to have a big screen in a more compact laptop. 
By the way, I'm laughing guys because I'm watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Third nating pag-usapan guys yung keyboard niya. Meron siyang full-size backlit keyboard with a decent amount of travel. So yung typing experience natin, okay na okay lang. According to Huawei din guys, the keyboard is spill resistant. For the keyboard, syempre this also includes the recessed camera. Though hindi ako masyadong fan ng angle na binibigay sa akin ng camera, it's a bit lower than I usually prefer and yung resolution niya is only 1 megapixel. You guys get the point here, syempre mas important importante para sa akin yung security and privacy. Although this statement guys is very subjective, alam kong yung iba naman dito hindi yun importante. Fourth will be the performance and battery life. You can actually get a 10th gen Intel Core i5 or i7 version with up to 16GB of RAM, either 512GB or 1TB PCIe SSD, and a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce MX250 GPU. Well, para sa akin guys, with this specs, the MateBook X Pro 2020 is more than capable of your daily use, katulad ng photo editing, light video editing. Kung gusto nyo naman ng medyo heavy editing at heavy gaming, syempre, then you can always connect an external GPU via USB Type-C. Actually, for the battery life, Huawei claimed na up to 12 hours of usage. Well, yes, it is true siguro if light lang yung paggamit nyo. But for me, na normal usage, tumatagal yung battery life up to 9 hours, which is still good compared to the previous laptop that I am using which is my MacBook Pro. And last but not the least, of course, yung pinaka-favorite feature ko for the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 would be the Huawei Share. Huawei Share is what really makes the MateBook special. It is very integrated with other Huawei devices. So halimbawa, kung meron kayong Huawei smartphone, like the Huawei Nova 7i or the Huawei P40 Pro, you will be able to transfer files or what I really like, the multi-screen collaboration. Nila. So all you have to do guys is of course turn on the NFC and once you've connected your smartphone to your laptop, makikita nyo sa window nyo yung home screen ng smartphone nyo. Pwede nyo i-control yung smartphone directly doon sa laptop. So for example, you are doing your work, tapos again, nakakonect nga yung inyong phone to your laptop at may nag-text sa inyo, then you can just reply to that text message from the laptop itself niyo na kailangan pang i-check yung smartphone nyo. Or may mga applications naman din na hindi available sa laptop nyo na available sa Huawei smartphone nyo, then madali nyo magagamit itong applications na to sa laptop. The drag and drop of files, guys, isa rin to sa pinaka-favorite ko. It just makes things easier para sa akin. So yes, that is it, guys, for the Huawei MateBook X Pro. So yun yung mga limang bagay na sobrang paborito ko sa laptop na to. If you feel like my video is too short, then you can always go to to my first video wherein I unboxed and did my first impressions of the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020. Again, it's your tag girl Mary and see you on my next video. Until next time, bye guys!